sketch. So this little sketch is um, it's actually in Cornwall, um, behind Trevon Bay, which is near Padstow. Um, so I made a note of the colours whilst I was there. But basically, it's going to be from imagination. I just like the shape of these houses. So again, I'm wetting round. Ooh, stood on paper there. Never mind. Round what I want to keep control of, or white. There were some lovely ploughed fields, nothing in it, just ploughed fields, but they were beautiful in the shapes that they represented. Right, so I'll get some sky in first. Uh, so, this is the first decision is, are we going to have the roofs lighter or darker? Well, I think I'm going to have them lighter. So, a cool blue, which is cerulean blue. sky was it? Quite a high sky. Uh, change to something a bit brighter, a bit of cobalt maybe. Maybe, no, maybe not. Let's let that sit a minute and see what he does. A bit of Naples yellow. Naples yellow is opaque and cool. I'm bringing it to you near here, otherwise I'll get a green sky, which we don't want. of Opera Rose. Hmm. A bit more cerulean blue. Whilst that's just sitting, let's get some colour on this. Um, oh, hmm. See if I can capture what as I remember it, which was a really ochre, almost terracotta earth. A bit abstract, this. Right off the paper in this corner. If I get this right, it should paint itself. This is New Cambodge. It's all New Cambodge at the moment. In varying strengths, as you can see, there's more water in some places, taking it up into the bushes. This is Opera Rouge. And burnt sienna, trying to keep these nice shapes. This just totally might not work, but well, Ooh. this is very much like it paint itself. We have got high bits, just make sure that they're not ugly. Like that one's quite ugly, so let's just, if you don't like it, just throw something on top of it. Not strong enough, a bit more. Better. This is quite thick pigment, so as you can see, it's sort of staying put. Quite well. Just soften that a little bit. Change to this is May green. This one I made a note to self that it was quite acid yellows and really bright spring colours. This is stop moving now. The sky. Let's 
the weight down a bit. It's quite a nice foil that one against the white. To the yellow, to the green. Cool it down a bit as it goes over the hill. Just much if it runs into this. I'm being a bit careful here because I don't want that to run into this lovely pink, otherwise I will get grey. I look quite a nice grey, but I don't want grey there. Get rid of that blob. Right, turn our attention to this side. Right, um, shadow side for the house. A nice shadow colour is cobalt violet and cerulean blue, not too strong. Clean water, same mix on this side. Doesn't much about losing the bottom edge, but I want to keep that top edge. Dark door in there, bit of a foil. Dark there, that would be in shadow two. And maybe that actually as well. Ooh, peaked up a bit of pink there. Alright. This side of the chimney pot. Colour door, blue door. We're by the sea. And if we've got a bit blue there, we'll have to have a bit of blue somewhere else. Uh, right, shadows under the eaves. Um, might have done to wait for that, but never mind. Still watching all this while I'm thinking about this. Just start to... Oh, too dark. Firm up. If it's too dark, just add a bit of water. One or two of these bits and pieces. Bit more of an interesting picture. Right, we need might just need to change down a brush size, just a slight. Just to knock the white off a bit. Right, turn back to here. Quite like that bit, but it's on its own. So let's add a bit more somewhere else. This is still quite damp. Right, for the next stage, if we're going to do a next stage, um, although I quite like it as it is, um, you could put text on it. Um, things that you heard, things that were going on, noises that you heard. Makes it very personal. 